Kate Yoko and welcome back to part 2 of our Visita Iglesia special. Today we are here in Baras Rizal and we are visiting St. Joseph, husband of Mary Parish. So dating back to 1595, St. Joseph was the first church to have been built by the Franciscan Order in Baras and is one of the oldest in the region. Let's see what the inside looks like. Made from dark adobe, it has balustrade trimmings atop its belfry and near the cross on a triangular pediment, a seeming checkerboard for a wall exterior and tiles from the intramuros ruins. The interior is home to rich contrasts like the golden fixtures against exposed wooden beams. During a renovation in the late 1960s, a huge stone altar was said to have been discovered underneath the sanctuary. The altar, which is presently used along with the sanctuary, sacristy, church interiors, facade, grotto, roof, and columbary has been preserved and restored. And that is the St. Joseph Husband of Mary Parish here in Baras Rizal. We are now here in Tanay Rizal and this is the San Ildefonso de Toledo Parish. Located in the heart of Tanay, this 405-year-old parish has bore witness to a number of interesting historical events. Named after Archbishop Ildefonso of Toledo, Spain, the Church of Tanay was initially built as an independent parish in 1606 and later on transferred to San Antonio with its thatched roof made only of cocon grass and wood. The present church was completed in 1783. Franciscan lay brother Fray Pedro de Talavera, who founded a mission in Pantay, served as the first priest. Story goes that the aged icon of La Purísima Concepción, which translated loosely refers to the image of Immaculate Conception of Mary, was the only survivor of a church fire. Ito ang isa sa mga simbahan na pwede niyong bisitahin dito sa Tanay Rizal. We are now here in Morong Rizal and this is called the St. Jerome Parish. Undeniably one of the town's more popular landmarks. This is also sometimes referred to Iglesia de San Jerónimo. It is a neo-architectural stunner with a school adjacent to its left and the Morong skyline. Now let's check out the inside of the church. Built by Chinese craftsmen in 1615, the newer parish replaced the first church that was destroyed by a fire in 1612. The frontispiece and the bell tower were built by one Bartolomé Palatino of Paete sometime between 1850 to 1853. St. Jerome is famous for its impressive facade, octagonal belfry whose large bells lifting reportedly still remains a mystery because of the seemingly impossible ascent through the church's narrow staircase and the bullet holes and pock marks on the church walls left by a gun battle between Spanish Guardia Civil and Cateponeros during the 1896 Spanish Revolution. We are now here in Cardona Rizal and this is the Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Parish. Just fronting the Municipal Hall of Cardona Rizal, this parish is part of the Vicariate of St. Jerome and a place of worship for the predominantly Catholic municipality. And this is the Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Parish here in Cardona Rizal. Our last stop for our Visita Iglesia special is here in Angono Rizal. And this is Christ the King Church and it is also known as 
the church in the sky. The cross sitting atop its bell tower glows brightly blue and usually lights up at the night sky. The church is also currently under stewardship of Father Bonifacio Chavez Jr. The Parish of Christ of King is founded by two barangays, Muzon and San Juan, and that was way back in May 15, 1984. And on October 1, 2002, this new church was constructed. This is one of the most beautiful altars I've ever seen. And this concludes our Visita Iglesia special. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!